Charles Philip Arthur George, or Prince Charles, was born on November 14, 1948, in London, England. When he was only three, his grandfather, King George VI, died, making his mother Queen Elizabeth II and Charles the heir apparent. During Charles' very early years, Elizabeth was still a princess and she was able to spend much more time with him. When his mother became queen in 1953, of course, everything changed. In the past, heirs to the British throne did not go to school. They were privately tutored. So it was a bit revolutionary to have Charles go to a school like Cheam and eventually to Gordonston, the school that his father went to. The prince was named the Prince of Wales in 1958. But it actually wasn't until 1969, when he was 21 years old, that he was crowned the Prince of Wales. Prince Charles was the first royal to earn a bachelor's degree at university. He attended Trinity College, Cambridge. Prince Charles then continued the royal tradition of serving in the military, attending the Royal Air Force College and the Royal Naval College at Dartmouth. In 1974, he began training for naval helicopter flying, and in 1976, he got command of his own ship. The royal family has always been very active in charities, but Prince Charles took it one step further by forming the Prince's Trust after he left the military, an endowment to look to the causes he most wanted to support. In his early years, Prince Charles dated a number of women, but his first love was Camilla Parker. Charles was actually forbidden to marry Camilla because she was Catholic, and many believed that Diana was forced upon him. On July 29, 1981, Prince Charles married Lady Diana Spencer in arguably the grandest royal wedding of the 20th century. The public instantly embraced Diana. She was only 19, she was very beautiful, and she was widely billed as a commoner even though she came of a very old aristocratic family. Behind closed doors, it was widely believed that he wasn't in love with her. And it turned out later he did admit that he was never in love with her. In 1982, Princess Diana gave birth to the first of their two sons, Prince William, and in 1984, Prince Henry, more commonly known as Harry. Charles and Diana's marriage was a mismatch of ages, of tastes, of interests. Charles and Diana separated in 1992 and divorced in 1996. A year later, Diana died in a horrible car crash. Diana's death was harrowing to Charles. It aged him considerably. To have her taken away so violently, so suddenly, I think has left an indelible mark on him. Prince Charles became much more active in Harry and William's lives, becoming more protective of them with the media. After years of quietly maintaining his relationship with Camilla Parker, Prince Charles and Camilla were married on April 9, 2005, in a civil ceremony. I think Prince Charles's greatest accomplishment was meeting and marrying Princess Diana, because it then led to Prince William and Prince Harry. There's been discussion that Charles should step aside after his mother dies and let his son William take the throne. That's not going to happen. Charles has spent his entire life readying himself for this job. However short it may be, he will take it.